Your hypotensive patient is placed on the monitor and you see the following EKG rhythm. At first glance, that must look like sinus rhythm, but after counting the heart rate, you notice it's actually bradycardia. You're frantically trying to remember the ACLS algorithm, but all you see is a slow EKG and a whole lot of confusion. The real secret is that it's not the number that actually matters, but the symptoms behind it. Let's break down sinus bradycardia into two simple steps. Is it symptomatic? And how do we treat it? Symptomatic is classified as patients who are hypotensive, altered mental status, or showing signs of shock. So if you see a low heart rate, but a good blood pressure, and they're just chatting with you, that's your wait and watch patient. It's not the call a code patient. Once you've confirmed the patient is symptomatic, you need to act fast. Our treatments are usually just a simple ladder. It's not super complicated. The first thing we're gonna start with is atropine. Think of it as a quick kickstart to the failing engine. Once you've given atropine and that didn't help bring up that heart rate, pacing is the next thing you're gonna move on to. It's not that the atropine failed, it means that their conduction system may be a little bit too damaged for the drug to actually work. So you literally have to take over and beat their heart for them. So remember, bradycardia and symptomatic means you have to act. The number on the monitor is just a prompt for you to check deeper. You now know the difference between a chill wait and watch bradycardia and a full on critical intervention bradycardia.